Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the volume of pyramids and cones. The height of a pyramid or cone is measured from the vertex. That's the tippy top. It's measured from the vertex to the base along a line perpendicular to the base. Let's take pyramids first. To find the volume of a pyramid, the volume V of a pyramid is one-third times the product of the area of the base and the height. So V equals one-third times capital B times H, where capital B stands for the area of the base and H is the height of the pyramid. We'll do two examples of this. I'll do one and you do one. Okay, so first one, please draw this diagram and we're going to find the volume of this pyramid. The pyramid uh, shown here, what is the height and what shape is the base, okay? So first of all, the volume formula, volume equals one-third times capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base. So what shape is the base? Yeah, it's a square. So we're gonna use <clears throat> the formula for a square to find that volume, okay? So five feet is uh, by five feet. So base equals length times width, which in this case would be five times five, which is 25 square feet. And we're gonna plug that into the volume formula. So here's our volume formula. Volume equals one third times, in this case, 25 for the area of the base times the height of nine. Now, I would use a commutative property here to take one-third of nine, which would be three. So 25 times three equals 75. So our volume is 75 cubic feet, feet to the third power. So volume is how many cubes of a given size would fit inside a shape. And in this pyramid, we could fit 75 foot, uh, foot size cubes. So here's an example for you to try. Find the volume of this pyramid. And we're going to use our volume formula. Volume equals one-third times base times height. So you should go ahead and pause with the space bar and attempt this problem. All right, welcome back. So the base is once again a square. So we're going to say that the base equals length times width. And in this case, the base equals 6 times 6, or 36 square centimeters. Now we're going to plug into our volume formula, copy the one-third, replace B with 36, and replace H with 10. One-third of 36 is 12, so 12 times 10 equals 120 centimeters cubed. Now for cones. The volume of a cone is very similar to the volume of a pyramid because a cone is like a round pyramid. So the volume of a cone is also equal to the area of the base times the height. However, we're gonna use our circle formula for the area of the base because the base is now circular. Okay, so again, the volume formula, one third times the area of the base times the height. So again, I'll do one, you do one. We're gonna find the volume of this cone. The, the first question is, what shape is the base? The base is a circle. So that means we're gonna use our circle formula when we calculate B. So B will be equal to pi r squared. And in this case, the radius equals four. So it's gonna be pi times four squared. Four squared is 16, 16 times 3.14 equals 50.24. And that will be substituted into the volume formula for B. So we're going to have volume equals, copy the one third, substitute 50.24, and the height is 6. So through the magic of the calculator, I find that the volume equals 100.48, and that would be feet cubed. So I've done one, now you do one. Find the volume of this pyramid. 
we're going to use the volume formula, one-third times base times height. Please pause the video with the space bar and work out this problem, and then check back for the solution. Okay, so again, the base is a circle, so we're going to use the formula capital B equals pi r squared. What's our radius? Yes, it's 3. So pi times 3 squared equals 9 pi equals 28.26. So that's the area of the base, 28 and a quarter, roughly, square meters. And we're going to plug this in for B in our volume formula. So volume equals 1 third times 28.26 times the height of 5. So through the magic of the calculator, I come up with 47.1 cubic meters.